And now, all new at 530, Florida voted to do away with daylight saving time year-round. Yet, this Sunday, we'll set the clocks back an hour and return to standard time. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, it's all about congressional approval getting lost in the political shuffle. November, Florida. The weather changes and the time changes. Yes, time. Florida goes back to standard time. The old saying, fall back, spring ahead. Well, 2018, the Florida Sunshine Protection Act was passed by the state legislature with overwhelming support for year-round daylight savings time. What happened? The answer, Congress has yet to ratify the state vote. Florida really was the leader in this thing, but uh, it, it is got installed at the U.S. Congress. Florida voters seem to like the idea of no more wintertime dark at 530. With year-round daylight savings, maybe golf or a jog after work in the daylight. But this Sunday, once again, the clock goes back. An hour of sleep is gained, and dark will come quick. For most people in almost every state, the, the most popular choice by far is to have the summertime be the new standard time. Well, maybe an AP NORAC poll from late 2019, 40% yearn for standard time all year round. 32% of Americans wanted to move to daylight savings time all year round. 28% want to keep switching back and forth. But a majority of Americans are tired of switching time twice a year. Scott Yates is a crusader taking his Lock the Clock campaign to state capitals across the nation. Florida was the first state to pass a bill that went through the state legislature, got signed by the governor, but it definitely wasn't the last. There have been about 18 other states that have done it just since Florida has done it. Advocates in those states hoping that legislation in the Senate Commerce Committee will go forward. Doubtful even with Florida Senator Marco Rubio as a champion. As Congress, as you know, is mired in a huge political fight over infrastructure. There is another path, but it has a mandate written all over it. The president could also actually do this. The president could just order the Department of Transportation to say that uh, the, what we call the summertime now is the new standard time. And, and he could do that potentially without even an act of Congress. But probably it would be best if Congress acted because this is, you know, it's, this is a big deal. So this Sunday morning, 2 a.m., clocks set back an hour. The clock's still ticking on Florida's year-round daylight savings time. I'm Hank Tuster, CBS 4 News.